Hello all. So welcome back. Okay. Uh, in the to today's tutorial, we'll be looking on the another API which service now provides, which is Glide Aggregate. So most of the people don't know the advantage of Glide ag Aggregate. Okay, and the power of Glide Aggregate. So what? Let's go to the service now docs first. As you can see on the screen, I have opened the service now docs. So let's see what exactly this Glide Aggregate do. So Glide Aggregate enables you to easily create database aggregation query uh, aggregation query in the sense where we want to count or we want to do summing or we want to average something out on the database so all these mathematical operations is done by glide aggregate with pretty ease if you want to do the same with glide record it will take some efforts plus it will uh, have an impact on the performance also okay so the scope glide aggregate is an extension of glide record so as glide aggregate is an extension of glide record okay so it automatically gets means we can say he is a father okay uh, glide record is a father for glide aggregate so basically he gets all the method which are there with glide uh, glide record which uh, which will be easily available in glide aggregate also okay plus they have functions called count to count to sum means count is uh, to count the number of records to sum is uh, summation of all the record finding the minimum maximum average queries okay all these things okay this functionality can be helpful when creating customized reports or in calculation for calculated fields the glide aggregate class works on number of fields only yeah basically as we are doing the mathematical operation right so it will work on number of it only you can't take the average of name right if i want to take the average of my name and ability to name what will be the expected behavior right so it works only on number of it okay as this is a quite vast topic okay glide aggregate so i decided that i will break it out into two sections okay so first we'll look into the basics of glide aggregate and in the next coming session we will look into advanced powerful methods what glide aggregate supports okay so let's move to without wasting time let's move to the personal development instance so this is my personal instance service now instance okay or we can see as pda so for this tutorial as uh, people are commenting me out right i am getting rational and i am i'm using incident table again again for all the tutorials right so let's break the taboo today okay so today we'll be po we will be taking the reference of the table called computers okay everyone likes computers right so let's work on computers okay so in configuration we have a table called computers okay this is a child table for configuration item it's one of the class in configuration item called computers okay so let's see what all is available over here okay we have name manufacturer operating system computer t -t 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 whatever okay and for the scripting purpose let's use the fix script mm -hmm. fix script if you are following me out you are aware what exactly the script fix script is right and i um, whenever I create any tutorials, right, I do don't do any kind of preparations. Okay, so if something is going wrong, please bear with me. Okay, so let's do as mm, I will service now dash glide aggregate tutorial. Okay, let's play with glide aggregate today. Okay, so let's start the code. Okay. So first, what is the syntax? What is the basic signature for Glide Aggregate? So it's similar to Glide Record only. So it's like variable. Mm, I will give count. Okay, we will be looking into count function only today. Okay, so variable count equal to new. Now your difference is Glide instead of Glide Record. We will be using Glide Aggregate. Aggregate. Okay. And now I will give the table name as let's take the table name. I I just want it seemed to be C I underscore computer. Okay, so let's take this table out. Okay, so this is the table. Now I will give uh, we will be using first method. So it's let 
if I give it like count dot so as soon as I give count dot okay it will show me all the glide aggregate supported methods okay which we can use so let's go one by one so the first one is add aggregate okay so let's go for add aggregate and in add aggregate let's go with the count method so we have to simply give C O U and T count which is in caps okay so what this particular function do this is like you what kind of operation add aggregate is like you what kind of operation you want to do on the database right it's as we have seen on the documents it can be count it can be sum, it can be minimum maximum average all these things okay so let's focus on count okay so I add count okay I will give the semicolon then rest of the things are like glad record itself okay so let's do count sorry count dot query okay count dot query now I will give if mm, let's do count dot next okay then what we have to do we have to display the count of the records okay so gs dot info I will give and I will be hey man we have mm, we have number of computer number of computer equal to and we will give the count okay so how to get this count okay so it's pretty simple I will define one variable over there here so it will be easy for you to understand so I will give variable in sorry variable computer equal to zero because we don't have any knowledge right so let's consider it zero key oh we don't know let's check it out now we will get computer equal to now it's pretty simple to get it okay so it's like count count dot now it's add, here it's add aggregate now we will use get aggregate okay get aggregate of what of count okay and let's print computer okay have I edited out let's save the script and let's see what kind of magic it does okay so I have edited it out and let's run the script proceed and it shows hey man we have number of computer equal to 855 is it we have 855 computer let's check it out okay oh yes we have 855 computers okay now if I want to see now I don't want the computer what I will do with the computers which are not active only right which are scrapped out right so let's go with the add encoded query okay let's go with the next function I want to see the computer which are useful okay which I can use so let's see I will do count count dot add encoded query let's get the query so what we will do mm, we will create a query out of it okay so is the oh we don't have active oh sorry we don't have active over here okay because it's a computer right you can't um, disable that record so let's think something different okay uh, I just want to check which has a cost cost center as sales okay which are created for sales okay so I will sh do show matching we have 218 computer which are having cost center as sales okay let's copy this query out you know how to copy the query out I will go to the fixed script again we will add it out okay now we will see the number of computer which has a cost center equal to sales okay so let's save it out hmm says I have a lot of computers great if I run the script out we have 218 computers for sales let's verify it out yes this is fine now in this also now 
let's check let's go to the all computers now if I want to check okay I want to assign my computers to someone okay I want to see uh, how many computer are not assigned okay okay or let's see how many computer are assigned okay so for that I can do simply what I will do I will comment this out okay let's see how many computers are already used okay means people are using it so I will do count dot add mm, what which one where I should go at not null query okay which is assigned let's check which is assigned okay and I will give sign underscore two so let's see how many computers are assigned okay where assigned to is not empty that means it's assigned to someone okay so I will save it again and uh, let's check it out okay how many sorry mm, how many people are using my computers right let's find it out okay so if I run this out let's proceed there are 762 people who are using my computers out okay let's verify in the database okay oh I will do for query equal to assign to is not empty okay yeah there are 762 people now let's see how many peep how many computers are not used by anyone it's not assigned to anyone okay so this is also quite simple okay we have to just do the reverse of it okay so I will comment it out it's not the proper way <laughs> so I will comment it uh, I will do count dot null query add null query now on which will we won't assign to okay so let's save it out hey how many people are not using my computers okay it's on my personal instance so it's my computer okay the, those are my computer so let's try to run it out proceed 93 computers so I have 93 computer which is not assigned to anyone okay let's confirm this out let's see what this query okay it's not empty instead of is empty okay 93 good now let's move to another factor okay let's move to the factor that how many of the computers have manufacturers Lino Lino is my favorite band right now also I am you uh, I'm now recording this tutorial on Lino laptop only okay so let's do that okay let's try it out so I will do this time we will go with add query okay so count dot add query okay and let's see how we can find it out so let me open this record okay mm -hmm. and I will okay so what is the manufacture it's manufacture great to do, do, do. field name is manufacture and it's reference field it's referencing to core company table okay so I will manufacture equal to now I want to say ID right of that particular record so what I will do I will go to Lenovo I will open this record out and let's copy the ID of this company copy SSID 
let move over here so this is the primary key for Lenovo company so we are checking now we have added the query manual manufacturers Lenovo okay now if I save it out again <laughs> okay it got saved let's run the script proceed we have 66 only 66 okay oh sorry I forgot to change the message so we have 66 laptop which are manufactured by Lino let's confirm it all the show matching oh we have 66 laptop okay which are created by which are manufactured by Lino okay now let's look at one one what we call special method which is not present in glide record this method which we have seen right now it were present in glide record right let's see a method which is not present in glide record but I really like that method okay so the method is it's kind of special uh, method so the method is trend okay so what trend will do okay let me get you to the documentation if we can find it out mm -hmm. there should be somewhere at trend great so add trend add trend when we use add trend function it adds a trend to a specific field so it has two attributes okay the first is the field okay and it should be a date time field okay okay and second will be a time interval so in time interval you can um uh, provide day day of week hours quarter week year month whatever you want okay so what exactly it does okay so it basically checks it basically group it out with that particular attribute time interval so if I'm giving time interval as month so it will group it out what is what all computers are created in month of May June July August similar way if I'm get date then it will look what computers got created on this date what computer got created on this day and that way it will be a looping through it I guess let's when I let's script it out so that it will be pretty clear to you so I will add count dot it's not visible over here okay great so I will type I add trend okay that's why people are not aware about it people always follow what is visible to them when they do dot okay add trend and now I will give let's take some field on this okay let's what field I should take mm -hmm. created or updated let's see when it got last updated okay so what is the field name I will go to show XML and it says updated on great okay so I will add says updated on and I want to check on a month basis okay key how many got updated in this month and that month let's okay I have given the month so I will put the semicolon now we have to do one more modification okay in terms of this okay I will comment this thing out okay and instead of if because it's it will loop with the group by of month right so it should be not if it should be while because there will be multiple records now okay and I will give this message I will reframe this message in this okay and there is one method for the same select so like, mm, let's do that way I will give number of 
computers updated on month semicolon I will give it zero this is the way you can give the info message okay okay are the second parameter okay and now you can what you can do you can give comma array and in this array you can define the first attribute and second attribute and it will get replaced on a runtime over here okay so I will give the first attribute as count dot get this is also not visible over here uh, get value okay and we have to simply give time ref okay it will take the reference of that time okay what was there and second attribute I want to pass is like count dot get aggregate and it will be a like count okay so what I did over here I've added a trend on sys on updated on month I want to group by month okay and then why what I did I added a while loop and that while loop I've simply given a message that number of computers updated on month and then value you will get it clear it will get clear to you once I run it out okay I will save it out let's run the script great so as you can see uh, it's number of field created in 11th month okay 2010 is 1 in first month 2016 is 1 okay and 12th month of 2008 is 3 29th okay 12 12th month of 2019 814 records got updated okay so this is how you will get the information when you use trend pretty easy and pretty useful right to get the information so this is how we have ended the first our uh, first tutorial for glide aggregate it was pretty easy okay it was just to cover the basics of glide aggregate but glide aggregate is a really powerful uh, powerful api which service now provided okay we'll look into the into it in more details in coming tutorials okay till then stay with us in this journey of service now like follow subscribe okay and stick to us to get such kind of videos in the future also and please give it in the comment okay if you want to see any this kind of video okay thank you and have a nice day bye bye